Milwaukee is a city of about 105,000 renter households. And in that city, landlords evict roughly 16,000 people every year. That's about 40 people a day evicted in the city of Milwaukee. Now these numbers screen, these numbers up on the screen, they're only formal court-ordered evictions, okay? These are legal records. These are evictions that go through the court. But there are other ways, cheaper and quicker ways, for a landlord to displace a family. So I've met a landlord that will pay you $200 and let you use his van if you're out by Sunday. I met a landlord that'll just take your door off. We worked really hard in the survey to capture all those things, to capture those informal evictions that don't go through the court, the formal evictions that do, landlord foreclosures, and building condemnations, what happened to Arlene's favorite place. And when you add up all of those, you learn that every two years, one in eight renters in the city of Milwaukee is evicted. It's an incredibly high number. And the number is similar in Kansas City and Cleveland and Chicago and other cities that I've looked at. According to the most recent data from the American Housing Survey, renters in over 2.8 million households in the United States thought that they would be evicted soon. Eviction affects the young and the old, the sick and the able-bodied, but the face of this country's eviction epidemic belongs to mothers and children. Walk into any urban housing court in America almost, and you'll see row after row of moms and kids. And low-income African-American moms like Arlene are evicted at startling high, startlingly high rates. Among Milwaukee renters, one in five black women report being evicted sometime in their life. One in five. The equivalent for white women renters is one in 15. It's a startling number in the way that I've come to think about it, that if we have this thing, this incarceration, if incarceration has become this typical, critical experience in the lives of low-income African-American men, eviction is the feminine equivalent. Eviction is reshaping the lives of low-income African-American women. But this problem is widespread as, too, as well. It affects white folks, it affects immigrant communities, and it's, it's something that's going on all over the country. One in five of all renters, regardless of their income, report paying at least 50% of their income on housing costs. 